Welcome, everyone. My name is Eric Cave. I'm the director of Next Gen Ministries and Communications for the Pacific Northwest Conference. And today, I'm glad to introduce you, if you haven't met her before, to my friend Jill Riley. She is coming on as our communications assistant for the Pacific Northwest Conference, and we're going to be working together uh, to do our weekly um, blog post and newsletter, the, what you're watching right now. And so I've known Jill for a long time, ever since college, and it's really fun um, connecting with her in the Covenant over the last um, couple of years maybe a decade. I'm, sure, I'm not sure, Jill, maybe you can decade, help me. Over a decade. Over a decade, yeah. Um, and so we'll talk a little bit about what you're going to be doing with the conference. But first, why don't you just give us a brief introduction and tell us about your um, personal and ministry background? Yeah, well, my husband and I live in Billings, Montana, and we are recently empty nesters. So all of our kids have flown the coop. So now we have the house to ourselves. So that's lovely. Um, but we, uh, I'm a Northwest girl. I was raised in North Idaho and went to school in Seattle, where I met the illustrious Eric and Melanie Cave. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, finished up my schooling at Seattle University there, uh, planted a church in Seattle when I was in college, and uh, then moved to Billings, Montana, because my husband's, my husband's family is from here, and uh, pastored here and planted another church here, and uh, worked here until with with the assemblies of god i was i was ordained with the assemblies of god and worked here until about 2009 and we had a vision to plant another church that was kind of a different kind of a vision um different kind of a format and we were looking for a home for that um that not only that format but for an organization that would a denomination that would embrace ethnic a leadership and women in leadership and so that's how we ended up with the covenant so that was about 2009 2010 and so um we planted a church and and grew that for a while uh in 2015 i had um, a major medical crisis and we had to shut the church down and i had to take some time off and during that time it allowed me to return to one of my first loves which was writing i had been doing some writing but i hadn't been investing in it very much and so i started doing some writing and i began writing for the covenant i wrote for the covenant companion the covenant newswire and just kind of poured myself into that and uh learned a lot about journalism learned a lot about writing my writing style uh started working on a biography which i'm still working on as it turns out that takes a really long time to write a book <laughs> <laughs> and um and so i just kind of poured myself into that art and some other art and it was a total change of pace from being a like people person go 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 all the time to writing and being more solitary and uh having a more sedate schedule but it's what i needed for self care and it's what i needed for ministry at the time so that's what i've been doing over the past seven years is just writing and creating um well thanks for sharing that i'm really excited to be working with you and bringing you on the team to help with our communications and content creation with all of your experience that's going to be really a lot of fun um so tell me what are your hopes for our subscribers to our newsletter our social media accounts our youtube channel those kind of things what are your hopes for those people well, you know, I read this question and I thought, you know, the the answer is kind of uh, maybe obvious, you know, you want it to be want our communication to be a must read, to be informational, to be accurate, to be up to date. Um, but I also want people to feel like they are a part of something bigger than them, than themselves than mm -hmm. their church mm -hmm. that they uh, have a community around them that understands and sometimes commiserates and supports and prayerfully is a uh, part of what they are doing and so we feel like a unified a unified conference so i think that's really the purpose of this kind of digital communication is to kind of embrace all edges of the community and bring it together that sounds great 
So we're going to be working together, which I'm really looking forward to, to generate our, our weekly newsletter, the catch of the week. Um, and you'll be slowly but surely kind of taking more and more responsibility for that. And I know uh, you'll be reaching out to people looking for stories and content. So what kind of things would you be looking for from people and churches and individuals? Well, I think it kind of runs runs the gamut. I, you know, I'd like to know what's going to happen if there's events that are coming up that you're particularly excited about and or you'd like to involve other other churches in what's going on. I'd like to know things that have happened that were a particular excitement and uh, and encouragement to you and, and your fellowship or your community. And I'd like to know individual stories, people that have inspired inspired you that have inspired your congregation to um, move forward in a positive direction. And I'd like to know pastor's stories, where they come from and, mm -hmm. and what excites them and what, what moves them forward, what brought them to the Pacific Northwest and, and what they love about it other than the rain. And I, you know, I would like to know more of the personal stories. I, I tend to gravitate towards personal stories, towards stories that uh, have a human element to them rather than just the newsy things just because I'm nosy and I like to know about people and what drives them and what motivates them great well I hope that uh, anybody watching uh, this right now um, as what Jill was sharing if you get inspired get ideas uh, from what she was saying please send them in to Jill or I and then uh, we'll, we'll connect with you and um, either do a written article or a video interview like this because uh, that is our goal um, is to just tell the story of our conference to really inspire people to know who we are and what we're about so that we can really accomplish our mission in this yeah. region yeah um so how can churches individuals whoever that has an idea how can they contact you well, you can contact me through the office or through you, of course, um, but directly I can be contacted. It's really easy, Jill at JillRiley.org. So that's my email address and um, I can be caught there just about any time. So I look forward to hearing from you. Great. I will include a link to that email address in the blog post below this interview and as well, um, Jill, any other of your, I know you have a few different content uh, uh, channels. I'll, I'll include links to those as well, if you'd like. Okay, great. Well, uh, Jill, you're a, an old and good friend, you and, and both uh, Riley, your husband. And, and I'm really looking forward to working with you in this new way, in this new context. And I'm looking yep. forward to see how this will really help shape and influence uh, and inspire our conference through our communication channels. So thank you again for today. Likewise, I'm looking forward to it. I want to monetize this and make us all lots of money. Oh, there you go. That'd be a good. <laughs> that'd be good. Result. Greg would really like that if you. Uh, yeah.